using galvanic copper plating to electroplate a resin casted piece. It could be any 3D resin printed or casted piece. Now, uh, galvanic copper plating is an old form of plating non-metals with um, with copper. It is very strong, as strong as electro electroplating, but it's much older, very old, about 200 years old, perhaps even more. So here we have this piece which is a piece I cast it in a UV three um, UV resin, and I cure it through a UV light. I coated it with uh, with uh, graphite with this spray. It's pretty good. It's amazing. It dries very fast. It is. Um, and it's dry to the touch very fast, but I recommend leaving it for 24 hours to dry. I'm going to be using copper acetate or regular copper sulfate with uh, white vinegar and salt as the electrolyte. And as the, um, um, and I'm going to be using iron filings. This is iron, which will allow the copper to be deposited in the graphite piece. Now that graphite is conductive. So, um, after I, we electroplate it, I mean, after we played it with copper, you can leave it like that because it's a very strong deposition, or you can uh, further electroplate it or electroform it to make it even thicker. But this is how it works. Graphite, it is conductive. So when we put it in contact with iron or steel, and copper sulfate or copper acetate or the mixture of copper sulfate crystals and white vinegar, the piece will become covered uh, with copper. This is pretty good. This is too much, but I'd rather do this right now than redo it later. But it's uh, it's a little bit too much, but that's good. I think it's going to play very well. We're going to pour um, the electrolyte. And what's happening is that Due to a um, due to the copper, I mean, due to the iron being in contact with graphite, the iron is being plated uh, on a copper layer, and because it is in contact with graphite, the graphite. Okay, so the piece. It has been in contact with the iron fi uh, filings. You know, iron dust, iron powder is the same. As long as it's made of iron and it's coating, um, the, the resin piece with copper as well. We will be checking this in a few moments, you'll see. This technology is very old, very, very old, like 200 years old. 
there is a patent from the 1800s when they used to electrotype very, very large pieces, like we're talking about 10 feet of like 10 feet statues. They, they use graphite, but the graphite took forever to uh, to code it I mean because graphite has a very high resistance so it took forever to coat it with copper so what they did is they um, the electrotype they uh, they did what we're doing right now we're using galvanic copper plating um, they they put um, iron filings and then they pour um, the copper solution into the into the mold so the mold get, uh, uh, gets coated with copper instantly and becomes a very very um, uh, conductive so it's much faster for them to follow up with a thick uh, electro uh, electro coated uh, you know with a thick coating of copper let's take a look Now, uh, this is just white vinegar and copper sulfate and salt to make it conductive. Let's look at this. I'll come back and uh, after I polish the piece. <laughs> 